I don't know where to start to express how much I truly care about you. Now, I know I've never been great with words. It's just because my feelings can't really describe how much I really feel for you. But I just want to say that we've always gravitated towards each other for some reason or another. And I would never want you not in my life. We've been through so much over the past nine years together. I've known you for 14 and it's half my life. It's the best half of my life I could ever ask for. We've gone through some crazy things together, crazy trips. And no matter how crazy the trip is or what bad things come or what problems we face, we always can get through it. We always do. I want to promise to you that I always will put your needs first. And I will always put your happiness above all else. I want to make a life for us. You're my home. But not only that, I want to make a home with you. I want to make a great life for us. And you're the only one I could ever imagine myself. words I wanted to say to tell you how much you mean to me I realize there are not enough I want to start by telling you thank you and tell you how grateful I am that you have constantly chosen to love me and to support me every day for the past nine years a lot has changed in my life in those years but the one thing that's always been a constant is you today I stand here making the easiest decision of my life, becoming your wife. I have had the honor of loving you, and it has been a blessing to be able to watch you grow from a young boy to the man you are here today. You are hardworking, smart, passionate, caring, and good looks are an added bonus. <laughs> we have chosen each other, and we have fought for each other which has strengthened our bond. From that first time I saw you our freshman year of high school, to the first time you held my hand, to the first time you kissed me while listening to Cat Power's version of Wonderwall, waiting for you to get out of work from Subway to take me to the movies and to those adventurous night drives in your old car. I can see and I know today and always we were meant to meet each other's teeth. You are my best friend and my home, and you mo motivate me every day to live life to the fullest. I will support you and walk beside you through whatever life brings. <coughs> you are my first love and you will be my last love. Today I vow to accept you for who you are. I vow to always be your friend and choose laughter and joy. I vow to stick by you through all the hard times <coughs> that we will face. I vow to support your dreams and always make you food. <laughs> I vow to build memories and love within our own home. I vow to give you my heart and remind you how much you are loved. I vow to be understanding and try to be more patient. I think real love <coughs> is when you're able to fall in love with that same person over and over again. And that's what you've given and shown me. To me, every day our love story begins. I find more reasons to love you, more things to learn about you, and more things <coughs> to want to learn about you. You are my greatest love story, and it's still just getting started. You are not just some guy, you are my 
guy. And now I'm forever. You made saying I do so easy. I have loved you. I currently love you. And I will continue to love you always. <coughs> My friends, I'm so excited that you're here and that you could make it. My family. Um, I think Trevor said it. He, he didn't have words. I don't know what to say. It's, I am so excited to have this event. In life, there are just there are times when you just have to stop and say, this is just awesome. And this is just awesome. But I love those kids so much. I love them. And I love all of you. And so... To have everybody in a room full of love. <laughs> We're gonna toast the love. Love. <laughs> All right, I heard that. That's what I want to hear. And this is a big room of love, so that's, uh, I guess, was that okay, toast? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I do next. I have, have her tell me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just wanted to start out saying that <laughs> Alyssa and Trevor are two of the most important people in my life. And I love them so much. Um, <laughs> So, 
my big sister is my role model. She is someone who has been where you've been and gives you advice whether or not you want to hear it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. She's a lifelong best friend and someone who I can depend on and who I could not live without. And Trevor, you've always been like my big brother. <laughs> and now you're my brother-in-law. And I'm so happy <laughs> that you are. So I love you guys so much. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, for those of you don't, who don't know me, I'm Sarah Phillips, and I'm Melissa's best friend and the maid of honor. Um, once upon a time, about 19 years ago, two little girls met at a wedding. They played and laughed and began a friendship that neither of them knew would be one of the most influential of their whole lives. I've known Alyssa for a long time. Trevor too, but Alyssa longer. I remember in middle school, we would often sit and dream about the men we would marry someday. It wasn't too long after that that Alyssa met Trevor. I remember her telling me that he was going to be her first boyfriend. Little did she know he would be her last. Over the years, I had the privilege of watching their relationship grow from friends to soulmates. And as Alyssa gained a life partner, I gained an additional best friend. I remember working on projects together in high school and always having to remind them that I was not the only one in the group and having to tell them to stop flirting and help me. While any relationship has its ups and downs, I always knew that one day we would end up here celebrating our marriage. So thank you, Trevor, for taking care of my best friend. So let's all raise our glasses, and I'll end with a favorite quote of mine. Never lie, steal, or cheat. But if you must lie, lie in the arms of the one you love. If you must steal, steal away from bad company. And if you must cheat, then cheat death. Congratulations to the lovely Mr. and Mrs. Trevor Russell. Hi, hi everyone. Whoa. All right. Can hold this far away. My name is Patrick. I've been, uh, Trevor's, I'd like to believe, best friend for, I don't know, at least 10 years now. We met under uh, some rocky circumstances. We both rode the same bus. And um, I, let me finish, PJ. I was a bit pudgy back then and uh, pretty nerdy, kept to myself. But Trevor was like this naturally buff, kind of like Hollister model type. And uh, I was an easy, easy target, so um, at first we were foes, but uh, we both discovered that uh, we, we shared a mutual deep interest in music and exploring every inch of that area. And he, he actually introduced me to like his empire of um, bootlegging, which was pretty uh, lucrative in high school. But, um, <laughs> So, I mean, Alyssa and Trevor's story start before we even met, and I was introduced to her shortly after we became friends, and uh, a good memory that I have of all of us hanging out as like the unspoken third wheel, because everyone really knew what was going on there. But we went to Bangor, and... Uh, well, Trevor and I had our permits, but Alyssa was the only one with a license. And uh, she was a little scared to drive at night on the way back. And I asked first to drive, and she actually let me do it over him, which I thought was, this was surprising. But as soon as we got onto the highway, lo and behold, a police, like a, a state trooper, crept right up behind us and followed us like pretty much all the way home. It was like the most nerve-wracking thing. 
but yeah, we've been good friends for a while now. And it's just such a, a joy to see you guys together. You just seem so happy. And they went out to Utah and didn't come back with any sister wives, so you know that's, you know that's built to last. But here's to friends and uh, getting out of the friend zone.